Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum, my name is Shail and welcome to a brand new video on the channel and it's been quite a while since we made um, a proper video in which I am doing an intro so it's a bit awkward and um, yeah um, I'm not able to get one right so in today's video we are going to be doing a little something that we call the toe reel it's a tutorial video in which I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can make grunge Twitter headers. Now, the Twitter headers, it's not um, like obviously compulsory for you to make those as grunge Twitter headers. You can literally do that style with your thumbnails, your banners, your profile pictures. Um, some examples are going to be showing up on the screen right now. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these in a very 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 simple method and um like i'm not the best i'm gonna be uh, completely honest i'm not the very best and it's literally three in the night and i'm quite tired honestly but still i just wanted to make this video and i just can't yeah so what we're going to be making today is going to be looking like something of this kind um i'm not sure if this is even a pro proper grunge banner or not but this is a very quick little header that i just did in about 15 minutes and i'm going to be doing it all over again just to show you guys how you guys can do it as well so the first thing you are going to be needing for uh making these banners headers or whatever you want to make to your taste just in this style is you will be needing photoshop now i am using photoshop cs6 you may use um, a new newer version or an older version if, if if all the tools that are required are available in it you can also use other softwares like gimp and um, uh, i don't know about any other than that but yeah so first thing first you are going to be opening up a new file and uh, the new file so the size for the new file width is going to be 1500 the height is going to be at 500 now this is the like basic twitter header size uh, the youtube banner sizes differ uh, the thumbnail sizes differ and you know everything you know all the sizes are different so these are the sizes for the twitter header and I'm gonna keep the resolution at 300 just because I like to keep my um, designs to the resolution at 300 so we're gonna click on enter and now we have a complete new file of black canvas on which we will be working on so uh, starting off with the things the first thing that I will be doing is I usually go on to Google or any other um, platform to find myself a good looking png or a render and obviously i am not a very good render maker like um not a very good i can make them but it takes a lot of time plus um, i'm not very good at posing so what i do is i pick up free renders and use them in my designs <coughs> sorry for that um excuse me so um what I do is I just go on to Google and search for different renders and uh, like sometimes I can find them and sometimes I'm not able to find them easily so I do have some recommendations for you I'll have a discord link in the description right now where you can find some really good free to use Fortnite renders and they're really good like I picked up, picked up some just a few minutes ago uh, while I was making this render like this aura one this candy one this rosa one and this unknown one I used the rosa one apparently although but you can you know use a lot of different uh, you can pick up many other designs as well so the link will be in the description spidey designs is the server name also you can join in PEC Pakistan editing community um, there is a lot of free to use stuff over on that so as well the you know hub for all the Pakistan designers so you all are very welcome so the first thing I do in my designs is I start off with the background and what I do in my grunge you know retro you know these classic kind of um, banners is I go with the background first and I just pick up 
a dark or very light a very light or a very dark color now for this design obviously as you have already seen um the basic background color is black um not so black like a little um light black if that makes sense in a way um so i just take that from the color palette and put that in in a layer um the next thing that i do is i just put in whatever corrector or whatever render i have um the rosa skin that we'll be using i just resize it place it wherever i want it to be um you can you know put it anywhere you want it you can put it over here you can put it over here like right now i'm going to be showing uh, uh showing some of my um you know other banners in this specific style on the screen right now and <coughs> sorry so yeah that's pretty much it um like let's just resize it a bit and you know replace it reposition it the way just we want it to be i just don't want to touch the top edge yeah that's that's pretty good all right so once we are good with the yeah that's satisfactory once we are done with the twitter oh my goodness i just moved it with the character with the skin um you can either rasterize the layer or that's what i do uh, because we are not going to be doing anything uh but just other stuff with it that is going to be requiring it to be rasterized so pardon me for wasting your time in this nonsense but the next thing i do is i go on and uh, fit in and type in the text so this specific header although i was not told by abd to make me make him a banner but i just thought i should make one so yeah i am going to be typing in abd man and the phone that i used for this is marrons um it will be in the description it's, it's not a very nice phone or anything but i just liked it and you know it was going with the theme and all so i just um chose it the link to its download will be in the description as everything else also or the next thing that i usually do is i bring in some grunge effects now if you don't know uh, what grunge effects are they are these little black or white or whatever color you make them um you know splashes or sort of type like they are not splashes they are like um let me show you uh, what i mean uh, I mean these design and what I do is I usually put them in and uh, you can find them on uh, Google or any other stock website where you can find different stocks and stuff but I usually go on to Google to you know find them and yeah I just resize them and you know duplicate and place them in the banner wherever i want them to be placed and then what i do is i merge them uh, like i i merge them and then what i do is i go into the eraser tool like the hardness to zero and why aren't they merging all right then i just delete this like i erase the stuff that looks very weird like this and yeah that's pretty much it so that was that like you can you know use different other stocks on the you know sites different sites different stocks available but this is the one that i have been using in most of my designs and even now um so yeah uh, make sure to you know um use either black or white ones depending on the foreground color but yes that's pretty much it so the next thing that i have done in this banner particularly is i have brought in a little newspaper um png now you can do this in a different manner you can use something else you can uh, maybe put in some um, abstract stuff like i have done in one of my headers for alian um, but it's completely up to you if you want to you know do it or not it's completely up to you and i just resized it a little bit and voila that's pretty much it all i had to do was just do that and 
yeah i uh, uh, sorry i found this on google once again i just searched for newspaper png um and it's going to be in the psd file the psd file drops at 100 bikes so so i'm going to be building it up so what in what i did was this was black and white and the banner was looking really 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 um pain so what i did was i just put a new layer and a clipping mask i you know put it as a clipping mask i went into the brush and i used this color um uh, darkened it a little bit and yeah like i just put this over it and used soft light and it became purplish you know purplish reddish you, 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 you know in the vibes just put this so um i pretty much did that and after that what i did was uh this is a very very common and a very um uh, fun thing to use in abstract but like abstract i'm saying abstract grunge banners is this grunge stroke um it's called a grunge brush stroke or in say different stuff but that's what i call it and uh, that's what i search it for or like uh that's how i search it on google um this is also another png that i found from google and it's going to be in the psd file that will be dropping at 100 likes so yeah uh, make sure to like the video <laughs> but out of uh, like apart from all the jo uh, jokes this is um a brush stroke of a sort I, I guess it's called a grunge um uh, brush and what i did was i just placed it in behind the character and then i duplicated it and uh rash, like made it white by you know going into the hue and saturation and messing around and doing something like this then what i did was um although um you know it's like this so what i did was i just you know um resized it a bit wait hold up hold up you know resized it a little bit and what i did was just duplicated the white layer and moved it down and you know this is looking a bit awkward and yes sir and then what i did was i also duplicated the black layer and moved it upwards hold up something's wrong <coughs> sorry for that and uh, i duplicate the white layer once more as well so that it would you know be a bit you know more balanced out so it does look good um so yeah that's pretty much it that i did for this part and if you want to you can um erase this part and yeah that's pretty much for the background you can do much more with it you can you know make it even better this was a very quick um, header and since it's a tutorial the basic purpose is to tell you guys how to do it and what to do and the rest of the creativity is up to you creative people so make sure to you know um, let me know tag me um, in your work on Twitter or Instagram or wherever you post it I'll definitely check it out maybe give some ops and share it with my um, beautiful viewers that you are the Shayan Empire so I would definitely love to see what you guys come up with after watching this tutorial so yes um, moving on with the text I uh, usually you know go on to the text later on after I'm done with the background and stuff so what I did was I just put in the basic shell you know layer style um, nothing much just the casual um, what do you call it like the drop shadow and um, then the gradient overlay you guys can see what I'm doing um, although I do not prefer doing this because it's a very 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 overused and a um, very old layer style that I do so make sure to you know do some other designs you know other layer styles then what I do is I make another layer make it as a clipping mask by right clicking go into clipping mask and then I use the polygonal to like any uh, you can use the lasso tool or the polygonal lasso tool and I just make these shapes wait hold up I messed, I messed up a little bit like this 
right so and then just put in a color it's very dark so we are we just low lower the fill like that and that's <coughs> that's pretty much it it gives a better look to the text <coughs> now one of the most essential parts of um this all is that duplicate text with just the lines the stroke lines so how to do that i get that question a lot especially by the beginners so if you are a beginner i'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can do that just duplicate the text layer um not uh, and keep the mask clipped um you may like when you when you uh, you know wait hold up yeah when you um like duplicate the text you may get the layer unmasked so you just all you have to do is get the layer and click, create clipping mask and that's pretty much it and then the layer that will be beneath you're going to be modifying that go into blending options um just remove all of the other um you know blending options layer styles and uh, just type uh, like click on stroke uh, i'll be choosing the color white and yeah three is going to be suitable uh, now the, like the thing that's gonna make it look like uh, what you want it to be the border go into fill and make it zero and voila you've got text you want it all right so i'm gonna resize it a little bit you know make it a bit bigger and that's pretty much it that's pretty much it i'm also gonna be um duplicating it and just by a slight moving it downwards going into the effects stroke <laughs> I'm gonna be choosing this blue stroke in her ribbon, you know, you know, to make the banner look more diverse in a sense. <coughs> and that's uh, one way you can do that. Another thing you can do is add in some text in the corners. That's very um, attractive looking as well. Um, I did that as well in this banner. I put in nails and uh so you can do that by you know just going into a new layer typing in anything since abd is the leader of whales i typed in whales and the font that i used for that was gotham where is gotham the link to the font would be in the description wait hold up in the caps that's pretty much it i resized it a little bit then then how I made it it's like just the border same procedure go into stroke choose the color you want the border to be but this at one because it's gonna be very small so the smaller the text the less stroke you want on the text and yes just gonna zoom in a little bit to you know get a better view and um, like this I'm gonna duplicate this a little bit and move it duplicate move it du duplicate move it seize duplicate move it du duplicate move it seize duplicate move it duplicate move it what duplicate move it and yeah that's pretty much it all you have to do and what else you can do is you can select all of these and merge them and duplicate them and then what you're going to do is click on transform control plus t control like it's going to be transforming and hold shift and rotate them and make them vertical and put them right here like it's going to be both borders big. Um, and the next thing you can do is you can put in some crosses as well. You just type in some crosses with some spaces. I just typed in six of them. I'm gonna put in the stroke, good old stroke. Um, this time it's gonna be two. The fill is gonna be zero. I'm gonna move the <coughs> right here. 
and that's pretty much it now one thing you can do is you can customize and you know make the character look better so create a clipping mask you can either you know do different stuff with it like have some see sorry for that you know have some uh, brushes on it or you can just go into exposure and um, like just mess around the way you like it I usually increase ex exposure decrease offset and increase the like um, decrease the camera correction in a way and another thing I would recommend is you may not be able to do this correctly um, what you will be doing is that first thing you will make a layer above your character this one you make you're gonna make it a um, clipping mask then after that you're gonna click on your layer one second and then you're gonna go into this this little thing and then you're gonna go into exposure then it's gonna be as a clipping mask otherwise it's gonna be you know um, adding the whole exposure thing on the um, whole thing that is banner next thing you may uh, add in the banner is some um, you know shadows behind the um, character like for example like this I am going to be adding some shadows um this way it looks much more clean in a sense um, like that that's, that's pretty much it um, you may also have um, some nice, 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 um, what do you call it, um, border line, like the like thing we did with the text, we could have some border lines with the character as well, so right click on the character, go into blending options, stroke, the same thing we did with the text, Y, and we're going to keep it at 3 and the fill to 0, and then we're just gonna move it. I duplicate the layer first, and then we're gonna move it over here. And let's move it to the newspaper and make it part of that newspaper. And uh, how to make that? Uh, it, it make it a part of the newspaper. Just click on the character, right click, clipping mask, and you will be good. And let uh, you know you can save it just like this. And if you want to add in some CCs, I'm not very good at doing CCs, so. <laughs> yeah that's uh, something i just add in some vibrance um some exposure to the whole of the banner um as i said i'm not very good at adding color corrections but uh, yeah so one thing one thing that i really like to add in these grunge banners is select all of this you know um select the top layer is and then go all the way down and select the last one and then press ctrl g and it's going to be grouping everything all right so the next thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be pressing ctrl j and it's going to create a group copy and press ctrl e and it's going to be a complete photo all right now we'll select that layer so that your stuff doesn't get messed up Select that um, picture you just created, go into filter, um, go into noise, add noise, and it's going to add this, you know, effect, this um, noisy effect that's called grain, and it's, it's, it's very, very, very um, nice, like, it does look very good, not gonna lie. You can either make it uniform or Gaussian. And monochromatic I don't know what that does but yeah I usually put it at Gaussian and yes it does look very good in my opinion it makes the banner look more um, grungy I believe I I would say and it does make it you know give it a paperish look so that's pretty much it you know how you guys can create your own grunge banners there are a lot of more details and things you can put into this banner um, and if you would like an advanced tutorial in which I'm gonna be you know making something very 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 complex with a lot of details and um, everything make sure to comment down below and I'll definitely try to make one 
Um, although this one tutorial is a very, very, very long awaited tutorial since the last tutorial I made was about six to seven months ago, and I'm really sorry for that. But yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you guys in one way or another. Um, I really tried my best to, you know, explain everything and anything that I did in the tutorial absolutely um, in a way that you guys could understand. And if you still have any kind of issues or any kind of questions you can ask them out in the comment section in my discord server on my twitter on my instagram um on my facebook although i don't use facebook a lot um but still you can ask me anywhere and i'll definitely get back to you and help you out with your um you know query and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed um, if you did, make sure to leave a like, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bells, uh, because I do almost daily streams um, of different stuff, I usually GFX as well, I do GFX on streams, and sometimes give them out as free GFX too, so make sure to tune into that as well, and uh, that's is gonna be it, um, it's a wrap, have a good night, a good day, whatever you're having, according to the time zones you're living in and i'll see you all in the next stream or in the next video um stay blessed and this is shail signing off peace off <laughs>